Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a quick um, VRO to regular fuel pump conversion video. Uh, so I looked around YouTube and there are a couple out there, but um, I don't know, they didn't go through the whole process I didn't think and I had trouble finding a really good one so I figured I'm going to be doing this anyway, might as well uh, film it and then post it back up there. So what I've got here is a 130 horsepower Evinrude um, where the VRO uh, pump right here is already disconnected so I'm pre-mixing the gas uh, 50 to 1 in the tank um, and the problem that I ran into is this pump is no longer working so a new pump like this is going to run you uh, if you get a good one which you should uh, it's going to run you around 400 or so dollars anywhere between 400 and 500 dollars um, I would not recommend replacing this with like the cheap $150 ones that you see on eBay those things are junk and they're going to break on you they're probably not going to seal right. Um, so we're going to be replacing this with a, a regular uh, Johnson Evinrude fuel pump. And so we're going to convert this, show you how it goes from start to finish. And then uh, after I'm able to kind of run it out there and, and uh, put it through its paces, we'll give you my results. I did have another motor that was 115 horsepower Johnson that had been converted prior to me owning it. And I, that one never had any issues running at uh, wide open throttle. Um, the fuel pump was able to supply enough. So I don't anticipate having any issues with this regular fuel pump uh, being able to supply enough. Um, the pump that I'm going to be converting it to, uh, let's just take a look at this. Uh, here's the pump uh, right here. It is a genuine Johnson Evinrude part. Uh, here's the part number, 438559. And uh, here is going to be the actual pump. I took it out of the packaging already. This is the pump. This is the uh, three-line one um, because I do have a pulse line that comes with the motor. I'll show that in more detail. And then I'm also going to go over how I'm going to mount this. So you have to come up with an interesting way to mount it unless you want to buy the super expensive one that already has a mounting kit with it that's aftermarket. I didn't want to do that. I wanted the Johnson Evinrude part. So we're going to convert this, uh, the VRO, to this fuel pump right here and we're gonna walk you through it. Stay tuned. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove the old pump. Uh, this is pretty easy to remove. Uh, the first bolt is gonna be up here. This is gonna be the first bolt for the bracket and then there's one down here at the bottom that you can see I've already removed. Uh, sometimes this is the more difficult one to get to, especially since it, it will, on this motor anyway, it had a bracket that held a little box with all of these clips in there and I had to remove that off, so that's why that one's gone. Then this is the other one. That takes the bracket off and the VRO is held in place into the bracket with, I think it's three bolts, one right there, one right here, and then there's another one around the other side. Um, outside of that, if you have the VRO or the oil part of it disengaged dis, uh, uh, or not hooked up, uh, you won't have to worry about this line. Right here is going to be your fuel in. Uh, down here is going to be your pulse. And then up here at the top is gonna be the fuel outlet. And so you just have to undo all of those, undo these bolts, and then we'll get uh, moving on to the next step. Okay, so the tough part is figuring out how to mount this thing. Um, and I kind of Frankenstein this thing in. Um, what I did was I took the original VRO bracket that I, I had cut previously, but you don't have to you know, take that, that piece out. Um, I, was, I tried a different type of fuel pump, an aftermarket one that was garbage that had me do that. Um, so what I did was I actually took um, I picked up a couple of these brackets right here, little uh, L brackets from Home Depot. And then I got myself some hardware. Um, and what I ended up doing is, because the hole placement just is not ideal for these brackets, you could try larger brackets, they might work, but I, I wanted to try and stay within the diameter of the original uh, bracket here. So what I have here is I've got a bracket mounted to it and then mounted to the pump. And then I actually took a, a you know, a, a metal cutting Dremel tool and I cut one side of one of the brackets off and that way I had, an, you know, another hole to screw to. And this is pretty solid. This is not going anywhere. And uh, when you mount it here on the, on the engine, it should mount up perfectly. I got clearance everywhere and should give me exactly what I need for this task. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten everything 
get all of the fuel hoses up there and then we'll uh, give it a go and see how it works.